Hi everyone, my name is Iman and welcome back to Iman Global YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn about Genmo, a new AI that can generate videos and 3D animations from text and images. I'm so excited to show you how it works. Please support my YouTube channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get started. Iman Global YouTube channel. The videos and animations you see were all generated by the Genmo AI. In this tutorial, I will introduce you to the powerful and lesser-known AI called Genmo, which is actually a video and animation generator. It has features like text-to-video and even image-to-video. The Genmo AI allows you to generate amazing 3D animated videos without knowledge of software like Blender, Cinema 4D, Maya, and others. Without powerful hardware for rendering or spending a lot of time learning software and gaining expertise, you can now turn your ideas into 3D animated videos with just a few text prompts. If you have many ideas for generating 3D animated videos, the Genmo AI now empowers you to realize your dreams. Using Genmo may sound unbelievable, but it provides Hollywood-level filmmaking capabilities for free, and now you can captivate the world with your creative video productions and ideas. In this tutorial, I will teach you step-by-step -step how to use the Genmo AI. From how to access this unknown artificial intelligence and connect to their Discord community to methods for text-to-video and image-to-video I will cover it all in this tutorial. By the end of this tutorial, you will be familiar with the Genmo AI and able to work with it. You will easily be able to generate videos and 3D animations to bring your ideas to reality. After this intro and seeing sample videos generated with Genmo, it's now time for us to create one together. If you like my educational videos, please support this channel with a super thanks donation so I can create more videos for you. I need your support. First, we visit the Genmo AI website. This is the Genmo AI website. At the top of the site, we see the slogan, Make videos using AI with Genmo Replay. And slightly below, there is a text box for entering prompts. From the left menu, we have access to the generate video and image features. To get started, we need to create an account on this site. So, we go to the bottom left section. Here, you can sign up and log in either through Discord or via email. Now, we are in the dashboard. In the central part of the site, a list of videos that I previously generated is displayed. To create the first video with the text-to-video service using Genmo AI, we need to select video from the left menu under the Create section, which is active by default. At the bottom of the site, there's a text box for entering prompts. An interesting button here is the one that generates a random prompt for us. Let's test it by clicking on it. It generates a random prompt for us. And now I click on the submit button. Our prompt is placed in the queue. And after a short while, the first video is generated. There are options to play and maximize the video. The download button allows us to get the video for free. And the share button lets us share the video link with others. Now, let's take it more seriously. I have a prepared prompt, and I paste it into the text box. For more control over generating the video, there's a hamburger icon at the bottom left of the text box with a list of settings. I click on it. The first parameter is aspect ratio, which is set to auto by default. I click on it, and using the slider, I can adjust different aspect ratios like vertical, horizontal, and square for various platforms. I set the slider to a 16 to 9 ratio. A bit lower in the duration section, there's the option to control the video's length, with choices like 2, 4, and 6 seconds. Now, I click on the submit button. Our prompt is queued, and after a short period, the second video is generated. I download one of them. Let's review the videos. We can bring the video styles closer to our own ideas by adjusting settings and having more control. In the next stage, we'll discuss the key parameters for generating videos. By clicking on the hamburger button, we have access to settings and parameters. If you intend to publish your videos on various platforms such as Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, or even YouTube, 
you need to determine the aspect ratio of the video. The aspect ratio section is set to auto by default. By clicking on its icon and adjusting the slider, you can set the aspect ratio to 16 to 9, 4 to 3, 1 to 1, 2 to 3 or 9, 16 according to your preference and the desired platform. In the duration section, you can increase or decrease the length of the videos with options for 2, 4, and 6 seconds. The motion parameter is crucial for video animation. Higher values result in more detailed motion, while lower values provide more stable motion. By clicking on its icon and dragging the slider, you can adjust its value. The next parameter is batch. Here, you determine the number of generations in each batch. It is set to 2 by default, allowing you to submit multiple generations at once at a relaxed priority. The next important parameter is camera control, which is set to off by default. With a simple click, it turns on, and all pan zoom roll tilt settings are in auto mode by default. In this section, you have the ability to control the camera with options such as zoom in, zoom out, roll clockwise or counterclockwise, and pan left and right, as well as tilt up and down. By clicking on the auto option, which is at the beginning of the settings for each item, you can take it out of auto mode and set the pan zoom roll tilt values as desired. After these settings, click on the submit button and enjoy generating videos based on these parameters. The Genmo AI website features an option called image to video, allowing us to animate our images and transform them into videos or animations. Next to the prompt text box, there is a button named upload image for loading images. By using this option, I upload one of the images from my hard drive. After a short while, the uploaded image is loaded and its thumbnail is displayed. After this, by clicking on the hamburger menu, we need to adjust the parameters. The aspect ratio parameter is automatically set based on the image. In the duration section, we set the video's duration. Following that, we have the important preserve parameter. Images can control a generated video to varying degrees. Sometimes, you only want to set a broad composition, for example, by setting the coarse layout and color palette for the scene. In other cases, creators want to preserve the details of their input image closely. The preserve parameter determines how much the video resembles the uploaded image. Next is the motion parameter. Higher for more detailed motion, lower for more stable motion. After this, we move on to camera control. The camera section is initially set to off, but by clicking on it, it turns on. Both the zoom and roll sections are in automatic mode. I only adjust the zoom out for camera movement. Now, I click on the submit button. The prompt is placed in the queue. After a short while, the videos are generated. As you can see, the videos are created based on the uploaded image and my settings, including the camera zoom out motion. The results are satisfying, and I proceed to download them. If you've found these artificial intelligence tutorials helpful, please support this channel through super thanks donations. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. Thank you for watching, I hope you learned something new. Remember to like, comment, and share this video with others. Stay tuned for more upcoming AI tutorials. See you in the next one.